Legacy Maker, the All Sports Network. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here live from the Robin Center today, women's college basketball, the Richmond Spiders, 7 and 19, taking on the 4 and 23 LaSalle Explorers. I'm Darrell Lawrence, Legacy Mega Sports Network. With me today, Lamont Thomas, here to bring you the color analysis for today, today's game. Lamont, talk to me about this matchup that we have this evening between LaSalle and Richmond. Well, Darrell, uh, first of all, good afternoon, man. Good afternoon. Good, good to, to see you. Good to be here on this yes. Sunday morning. Yes. Um, well, we got LaSalle Explorers and Richmond Spiders. They've both have been struggling in the A-10, but as I was saying earlier, it's in college basketball, if you can get on a run here in March, your best basketball can take you just as far as anybody else's best basketball. So with that being said, LaSalle has to get over Deja King being out of their lineup. Since January 3rd, she broke her ankle in practice, and she's the team's leader in both points and steals. And assist. So all three. Yeah, and they're missing her. I mean, she was fifth. She's She is fifth right now in the A-10 uh, in steals, and she hasn't played in over a month. And that so, says a lot. So that tells you how much you, how much they're missing from uh, not having Deja King there. But Shalina Miller is going to be the person I feel like is going to have to step up today for this LaSalle team along with uh, Jaron Reese and, and then Rochelle Brown. Those those three young ladies are going to be are going to be critical for LaSalle today. And then on top of that, uh, if we swing to Richmond here, Richmond tough loss to George Mason the other day. Absolutely. Really tough loss to George Mason uh, the other day. And it it would have put them in a path that would if they could have won out there to put them in a good spot to get a home game here. They're still not out of it yet. But what do they have to do today to get the W? Well, I wonder if Coach Schaefer has brought to their attention about their third quarter. Because University of Richmond their Achilles heel has been their third quarter this year. They've had games where they've only scored four points in the third quarter. They have games where they've only scored six and eight points in the third quarter. So whatever it is, their mental toughness, they're going to have to harness it in the third quarter today, whether they're playing with the lead or if they're trying to come back. They're going to need to keep that momentum in the third quarter today, Darrell. Well, we're going to find out here as the broadcast is about to get underway. We're going to give you the starting lineups here in just a little bit. We're going to send you over to ourselves, of course, for the broadcast as we're about to start. LaSalle Explorers versus the Richmond Spiders live from the Robin Center. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here live at the Robin Center here at Legacy Maker Sports Network as the Richmond Spiders take on the LaSalle Explorers women's college basketball here from the Robin Centers. Uh, 2 o'clock, they got a mid a midday game going on. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to the basketball arena. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Lamont Thomas here with me today. Starting lineups are going on right now, so I will give you the starting lineups for LaSalle starting Number 14, Michelle Nichols, sophomore from New Zealand, 5'9". I got Kayla Sproul from Baltimore, Maryland, 6'0". Freshman, you got Jaron Reese from Mansfield, Ohio, 6'4", the senior. You got Shalina Miller, the junior, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and Janae Sanders from Charlotte, North Carolina, which Lamar gave me a little fun fact earlier before the game about that young lady. Why don't you tell our audience about it? Yeah, so Janae Sanders is actually from Charlotte, North Carolina, Darrell. She's, uh, her uncle is Del Curry, which makes her, her, uh, her godbrother is Stephen Curry, which is probably the reason why she wears number 30. Uh, we can't, can't go wrong with those fun facts on that one. Now, starting lineups for Richmond, number one, Jade Hines-Clark, who's been probably the, the all-in-all -all here for this Richmond team this year, the junior 6'1 from Westwood, New Jersey. Also, number 13, Alex Parson from North Chesterfield, the sophomore, second on the team in scoring right now. She's been absolutely phenomenal this year. She's had some moments here and there, but when she when it comes down to it, you can trust Alex Parson. Molly Mraz, the freshman, 5'8", from Erie, Pennsylvania, averaging 2.3 points a game, and she will be somebody to watch out for today. Number 33, Amy Duggan, the forward junior, 6' foot from Norwood, Mass. Amy Duggan is number 20 in the A-10 in rebounds, and starting today after her big-time 18-point performance, Clara Holt, the guard, freshman, 5'6", from Hoover, Alabama. Shooter. She came out in that last game 
and she was phenomenal. Six threes I, for 18 points. I mean, she just she started the game off right. She was she went three for three to start the game off, hit threes from the corner. And myself and Russ Telefero, who were here uh, broadcasting that game, were just amazed on how you know she may have not got that much playing time during the season, but she came out here and she was ready to roll in that ball game. Yes, sir. We're getting ready here, ladies and gentlemen, for the tip as both teams are heading to the floor. The starting lineups have been uh, announced, and I'm just I'm excited about this one. This is going to be a very interesting one. Like I said, both teams come in here struggling. We we understand that point. Uh, Richmond seven and nineteen on the season, but still have a slight chance to get a home game. And LaSalle, of course, only one win in the A10, and that one was against Rhode Island. Yeah, I got a feeling that defense is going to play a big part in today's game as well. Uh, Richmond's been able to lock down at home lately. So uh, LaSalle, actually, they do have some bright spots. They're six in the 8-10 in blocks. Darrell, and they're first, are they first in steals? First in steals. First so, in steals. And in Richmond's third in steals. So th there's going to be a lot of a lot of steals today if based off of the statistics. So we, we may get something like that today. Well, here we go. The tip is about to go down. Miller on the jump here for LaSalle. And Jade Hines-Clark for Richmond. And the tip, and it goes to LaSalle. And LaSalle has the basketball. Top of the key. Oh, Sanders for three. Let's get it started. That's no off good. the side of the rim. Rebound, Hines Clark. All right, let's see what Parsons does up here. Parsons has it, dribbles, gives it over to Hines Clark on the right wing. Swings it to Amy Duggan, being guarded by Reese. Holt gets it inside to ah. Hines Clark, knocked away. LaSalle playing stingy defense here. Nichols up the floor. In the lane. Oh, Sproul with a nice move there. Nice little floater. Yes. I like that. Nice touch in the paint. 2-0. 2 LaSalle. LaSalle, night. Excuse me if I said 19, but 9 minutes and 16 seconds on the clock. 2 nothing. LaSalle up. Hines Clark with the basketball. Gives it over to Duggan. Duggan back to Holt. Holt being guarded tightly. LaSalle she, pressing the guards up top. Great job there. Floater. And gets nice. the roll. <laughs> Alex Parson. And that one falls in 2-2. Two to two. Eight minutes and 57 seconds here in the first period. On the south, the starting lineup looks like they've got some height in here against Richmond. Miller swings it across the court to Nichols. Nichols driving to the basket back to Miller. Miller takes a dribble. Pull up jumper from the free throw line off the back of the rim. Rebound, Hines Clark. Nice touch, but couldn't get it to go. And Parson leading the charge up the floor. Gives it to Duggan. Duggan the hold. A little bit of a pump fake. Being guarded by Sanders. And Parson tried to get it to Heinz Clark at a roll out of bounds. And I believe it's going to stay here with the Spiders. And the last two times they tried to get to Heinz Clark down low, LaSalle is ready for it, Darrell, and they're not letting it happen. Raz passes in to Heinz Clark. Tough shot. Nice out of bounds play. Ah, nice job there by Jade Heinz Clark. Couldn't get her the ball in the post, so they just have her come straight down to the block off the inbound play. 4-2 Spiders, 8 minutes and 14 seconds here. Nichols with the basketball. Trying to get it to Reese. Reese being guarded by Mraz in the inside on the left block. Stolen. Steal by Parson. And there's the first steal. Two on one right here. Hold. Oh, nice pass. Back to Parson. Ah. Can't get it to go. You no, know, that was a rough one right there. I think it's going to be off of Heinz Clark. LaSalle ball. That was a good work, though. I like the way that Holt and Parson were working and trying to get that uh, basket on that one. Just couldn't fall. Yeah, she got her timing off and, and end up missing the finish. Four to two. Spiders up. Seven minutes and 55 seconds. Sanders has it at the top. Dribbling, being guarded by Parson. Gives those a sprule. Looking inside the Miller. 6-2 right here. This is going to be a battle. Oh, oh good job. Nice defense by Richmond. Get the block. Miller inside, fighting to try to get that one. And no good. Rebound by Hans Clark. And not really good spacing by LaSalle on that one. They have all the players on the same side of the floor there. Parson has it. Gives it to Holt. Dribbles from the left wing over to Mraz at the top of the key down low to Heinz Clark. Looks like she did a little jab step, thought about it. Gives it to Holt. Holt driving in the inside baseline to nice Heinz pitch. Clark. I like Holt's game right now. She is confident with the basketball throughout. Seems like she can find the open man. You know they, you know how they breed those athletes down there in Alabama. Miller, baseline jumper. And that one misses the entire rim. And Holt. With the rebound up the floor, gives it to Parson. Parson swings it to Mraz. Mraz to Duggan. Duggan over to Parson at the top of Parson the key. Parson for three. Boom! Alex Parson 
That's nine a timeout by LaSalle. Woo. Nine two run to start the game for the Spiders. You got to, if you're Coach uh, Schaefer right now, you got to be all smiles. Oh, yeah. Man, what a run there for, <laughs> for the Richmond Spiders to start this one on Alumni Day here at uh, the Robin Center. Nine to two, Richmond, with six minutes and 48 seconds left here in the first period. Got to go to the timeout. All right, we're back here from the timeout. LaSalle basketball. Nichols will be taking it out here for LaSalle. And this quick 9-2 run by Richmond has really paid dividends. Yeah, LaSalle's going to have, uh, they're going to have to find a way to get the ball inside and start moving around quickly so they can get some open looks, Darrell. Guafang is now in the game, and I'm going to tell you right now, Guafang has a lot of size on a 6-4 from Silver Spring, Maryland. And I'm going right. to tell you, she's going to cause a problem if Richmond can't find a way to get things um, under control down low. Parson racing up the floor. Gets it back to Holt. Ooh. Tries to get it to Hans Clark, and we're going to get a foul on LaSalle. And Guafang, I think this one is going to go against Guafang. Yeah. Um, yeah, Guafang from Silver Springs, Maryland. She brings more size for, for LaSalle. Went to... Point Branch High School, Silver Springs, Maryland. It's Guafang. Yeah, I see now. Yeah, Guafang is uh, got a lot of size on her. I mean, yeah. six four. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Jane Hines Clark's gonna have a uh, quite the um, the test on yeah, her. Yeah, they hand. get her for a reaching foul right there on Sweeney. Um, it's gonna go against Hines Clark. But yeah, Guafang is. Uh, she's got seven games with ten po ten points or more, Darrell. So I mean, she. Once she gets in a groove, she can she can run the numbers. I'll well, see what happens here. So nine to two, LaSalle trying to get something going here early. As Richmond jumps out early to a seven point lead with six minutes and five seconds in the first period. Sweeney has it at the left wing looking. Quafong has it at the top of the key. Back to Sanders. Sanders being guarded by Parson. Thought about it. Takes a dribble. Lost control of it. Reese able to to corral it on that one. is trying to get it to Sanders down low, but great defense by yes. Duggan. They are swarming on LaSalle. Sweeney takes the three Ooh. and hits it. Nice three there by Sweeney. Great defense. She just rose to the occasion. Shayla Sweeney. Sweeney from New Jersey. Russ would be smiling. <laughs> For sure. Nine Shouts out to Statman. Yeah. <laughs> Nine to five, five Repping minutes. That jersey. Parsons open for three in the corner. Boom, off the front of the rim. And great rebound Holt there by Holt. rebound. Duggan. Got it. Three. So fit, me, 12 to 5, 5 minutes and 15 seconds. And great start here. Coach McGillivray for the Explorers does not like the energy so far. He was laying into them on the timeout. Yeah, I mean, and it's got to be tough when your team is, you come in here, you're 4 and 23, and only four wins on the season. It takes a toll. Trying to find that motivation at this nice point look. in the season is tough. Wafong with the rebound. Oh. No good. And Duggan gets the rebound for Richmond. And up the floor, here comes Parson. Parson swinging it over to Mraz. Mraz has it, takes a dribble, and gives it to Duggan. Duggan to hold. Hold driving the baseline. Nice pass to Hines Clark. Yes. And she's going to be fouled. As she takes the jumper from the A-10 logo, she'll head to the line. I like the way the Spiders are moving on offense, Darrell. They're swinging that ball around. Hines Clark gets to the... Free throw line extended, and uh, Holt finds her there. She was able to draw the foul. So it looks like we got a few substitutions coming in. Looks like Deja Ruffin might be heading into the game here for Richmond, as well as Amani Mustaf. She'll also be making her way into the game for Richmond. And I think, you know, Mustaf is starting to get a little time. Looks like she's coming in for Hines Clark. And Mustaf got a little time in the last game, and it was to combat some of that height uh, that the uh, that George Mason had. And I think that's what's going to happen here. They're going right. to try to. Richmond's going to try to use that height advantage here. Yeah, Mustafa. Six five from Washington, D.C. here. She's definitely be able to combat some of the size that the Explorers have. And Hines Clark knocks him down. 14-5. to five. Hines Clark out of the game here, but a nice start. She's got six points so far in this ballgame. And here we go. LaSalle bringing it up the floor. Sanders has it. Oh, good double team there by Richmond. Gives it to Miller. Miller being guarded by Mustafa on the sideline. Oh, and oh, block blocked. there. I'm going to be honest with you. I think the block surprised her a little bit. I don't think she, yeah. she knew she was actually going to get Mustafa a piece of it. Mustafa is in for a reason. She said, I'm on the floor. It's time to feel, feel my presence now. Well, look at the length. I mean, 
She's six five, but she probably has a, a seven foot wingspan. Easily. Miller with a tough shot, no good. And here comes Parson up the floor to Mraz. One bounce back to Parson. Parson Thought about hesitates. it. Off the front of the rim. Duggan got a piece of it, roughing with the hustle, and that's going to bounce off of Mustafa. 14 to 5. Spatters up. And right now, four minutes left in this first period. And White is now in the game here for LaSalle. Jasmine White. Sweeney. Over to Sanders. Down low to Jasmine White. White swings it to Miller. Miller with the spin, spin move. move. Oh, nice. nice move. Just barely got it over Mustafa. Yeah, and she's, she may be the go-to here uh, for LaSalle Durrell. Last year, she shot 51% from the field. That was fourth in the A-10. She started all 30 games for LaSalle. That's amazing. 14-7. Duggan had it. Pump fake to give it to Parson. Over to Mraz. Mraz back to Parson. Thanks about it. Gives it to Mraz inside. Richmond, great ball movement. I mean, I love great it. Great patience. Oh, oh. Nice block there Parson by Miller. Parson is rejected by Miller. And that's going to go to LaSalle. It was great ball moving right there. It was. But Miller shuts it down at the end with the block. And LaSalle's going to have it back. 14 to 7. Three minutes and eight seconds left to go in the first. They're in good shape right now. Not in the bad spot. Another basket of two here and two stops by LaSalle. And you're definitely right back in this game. Definitely. Sweeney driving to the basket. Great defense by Mraz. Sanders driving. With the right hand, that's a little short. Ruffin with the rebound. And Sweeney, excuse me, uh, looks like that was uh, Sanders battling with Ruffin, and she hits the floor. 14-7. to seven. And we got Ayanna Carpenter making her first appearance in the ball game. Yeah, Parson gets a break. Ruffin's strong under the basket. She grabbed that rebound, Darrell, and it was not going <laughs> anywhere. She was not playing games. She's got a cast. You can see she's got a red cast on her right hand. Yeah, I think I limited her play last last game versus George Mason. Dug in a little pump fake, gets it out to Ayanna Carpenter, who had a phenomenal defensive game against the best scorer in the A-10. Nicole Cardano Hillary, and wow. she hits the three. Ayanna Carpenter. Richmond is letting it fly from three-point range. Well, they're going to say that it was a two. I only see they did yeah, they, they only gave her a two. 16 to 7. And Sweeney over to Sanders, being guarded. Back Carpenter looking for Miller. Miller trying to make some space. Sanders drives and takes the floater from the A-10 logo. He calls it on the floor. And that was on Carpenter. Carpenter gets her first. 16 to 7, two minutes and well, seven LaSalle's not doing a bunch of moving off the ball. So we'll see if they can draw up something to get them some movement off the ball at least. Ooh, and they've got an offensive foul there against LaSalle. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what that call was. Bro. Yeah, I think it was they gave him the old Jordan push off on that one. 16 to 7. Carpenter inside the Ruffin. Ruffin with a great pass to Mustafa. Great job by Richmond, recognizing that LaSalle was in the zone down there. It had like a 1 2 2 going on. Found some Mustafa on the back cut. 18 to 7. Oh, nice pass. Miller trying to get inside. She lost control of it. And. They're going to say it stays here. Mraz is looking like, hey, Mr. Ref, that wasn't me. And we got a swap changes going on here. We got a few White and Sanders and Miller all coming out as Nichols and Jaren Reese comes into the game. Yeah. And Guafon comes back. And Guafon's back in the game. And this is going to be interesting <laughs> between her and Mustafa. For sure. Nichols from New Zealand being guarded by Squires, who's made her first appearance in the game. Sweeney driving. Nice spin move, but there's going to be a foul on the floor. And that one's on Carpenter. She's got two already. I think we're going to get Holt back in the game. Yeah, Sweeney is a good ball handler. She's a criminal justice major. Uh, she's also from New Jersey. New Jersey. Went to Pensacon High School. She scored more points in high school history, boys and girls. Wow. That's pretty impressive. That's a feat. 18 to 7. Nichols looking for someone. And that one's going to go a little loose, but Sweeney's able to catch it before it goes 
to the other side of the court. And Nichols has it. Being guarded by Squires. Swings it over to Sweeney. Sweeney being guarded by Holt. Try to get to the inside. Nice pass by Sweeney. Oh, Grafong. You got to love that one. Yeah. Nice lob pass. Grafong finishes underneath. So 18 and 9. Mraz has it. Holt swinging it over to Squires. Squires, Mustafa. Mraz for three. And she misses. No good. LaSalle comes back up. Sproul got the rebound on that one. Great job there by Mraz with the steal. Up the floor she goes. Gives it to Holt. Thought about the three. Changed her mind. Takes a few dribbles. Gives it to she the Squires. Hesitated. She had a mid-range jumper, but she, she pulls it back it. out. She definitely had it there, Lamana. Oh, there's a that's going to be a foul. Yeah. And Squires looked like she was trying the to pick. screen there. But she went all hands there. She was yeah. like, no, no, no. 18 to 9. And it looks like Parsons will come in the game here for Morass. 18 to 9. Richmond so far 40% from three point range. That's that's solid. That's a solid percentage right there to get this one started. 18 to 9. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Nichols lost control, fell on the ground, and Parsons, Parsons gets the, the steal. steal. Holt up the floor. Eight seconds on the clock here. Seven. Holt still dribbling. Four seconds. Driving to the basket. Pull-up jumper. Off nice. the backboard. And that's how you end the quarter if you're the Richmond Spiders. Nice job there by Clara Holt with the elbow jumper off the backboard. This is a 20-9 to nine game at the end of the first quarter. The Richmond Spiders 20. The LaSalle Explorers 9. All right, ladies and gentlemen, end of the first quarter, the score, the Richmond Spiders 20 to LaSalle Explorers 9. Very, very intense first quarter. Lamont, what were your thoughts on that first quarter? Yeah, Richmond looks comfortable. They're at home. Whoever brings the ball up is surveying the floor. They're spreading the floor. They're moving the ball. Claire Hall looks, she looks comfortable with the basketball. She takes her time. She finds the open person. Uh, Parson is doing her thing. Uh, LaSalle looks like they're not exactly sure who's supposed to be taking the reins here. Like, if Sweeney's not bringing the ball up, they kind of look uncomfortable, Darrell. Well, I like to see – I know Coach Schaefer has to be a little bit happy right now because he's bringing players off the bench, and they have contributed. Mustaf comes in, she gets two points, got some, uh, uh, a really nice block. Holt, who was on the bench last game, is starting this game. She comes in, she does good things. And right now, 29, Richmond up as we get ready for the second quarter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, second quarter quarter action underway here. Richmond has the basketball. Heinz Clark with the jump shot. No good. Rebound by Sweeney. They got one offensive rebound from Ruffin and then Heinz Clark wasn't able to put it back. Oh, jump shot is missed. Richmond racing back up the floor. And Ruffin has it. Looks like she's able to control the basketball even with the cast on. Looks like so she's in pretty decent shape. Hold there. at the top of the key off of the pick. Squires. Swings it in the corner. Ooh. Holt, a little bit of a pump fake, driving to the basket. Oh, nice pass to Heinz Clark. Oh, and she couldn't finish. Okay, Rebound, Miller. But Holt has the vision. Oh, and Sweeney. And they're going to call travel. It was a late call, but I, yeah. I think he was trying to verify. Mr. Ruff was like, I got to make sure here. That pivot foot was, it was struggling. It was sliding. Temptation sliding, if you want to call it uh. that. 20 to 9, 9 minutes and 8 seconds here in the second period. Richmond up by 11 over LaSalle. LaSalle's going to bring the half-court press here to get it out of Parsons' hands at the top of the key. Parsons has control of it. LaSalle in a 2-3 now, putting pressure on the ball. I like the move by McGillivray. Aaron Morgan. They get it, it to Ruffin down low. Oh, she tried to go with the right hand. It's going to go against Jaron Reese. So looks like Ruffin's going to head to the line here. I do like the move that McGillivray made. He uh, he brought LaSalle to a 2-3. He put more pressure on the ball at half court. Now he's going to – what that does is that makes Richmond not able to survey the floor and take their time to find where they want to go with the ball, Darrell. Ruffin. And misses the first off the front of the rim. Gofong comes back in. And Jaren Reese is going to go to the bench. And 
here's number two, and nah, well, does not fall. So Ruffin misses both free throws, 20 to 9 here. Eight minutes and 39 seconds on the clock here in the second period. Sanders from Morgan. Guafong being guarded by Holton Parson. Guafong, nice spin move in the nice inside. Nice footwork Ooh. down low. She didn't even have to take a dribble. She just pivoted around and right that off was, the glass. That was really nice. And a good look by Sanders for finding her. 20 to 11. As a former big man, you got to appreciate that. Holt for three off the back of the rim. Ruffin with the rebound. Tough rebound over Guafong. Yes, it was. She was the only spider down there. Squire to Heinz Clark in the baseline. She misses the rim. A tough rebound there by Claire Holt. Richmond is on the offensive glass. So Aaron Morgan is called for the foul, 20 to 11. Now LaSalle's still lucky to only be down by nine right now. The way that Richmond is is in control. Yeah, they've done a really good job of just sticking in there so far in this ball game. Holt over to high school. Oh, nice, nice pass. pass. And blocked, blocked by, by Miller. Miller. It's going to go off of Ruffin. Went off her head. She blocked it off of Ruffin's head and went out of bounds. So Miller's two blocks so far. But once again, you look at Miller, and you can see the length, long arms, and she's just she's six two, but she definitely plays probably six eight. Definitely, she's she's big in the paint. Miller being guarded by Holt, Morgan for three, that rattles out rebound Hines Clark, and Parson up the floor, looking has Ruffin, Ruffin back to Parson. Parson. I believe that was the fifth rebound for Hines Clark there. Parson wide open for three, and that rattles out rebound. Heinz Clark trying to get over Miller, and there's a battle here, and a oh, jump ball call. I just stated that that was her fifth rebound on the defensive end. She gets two off the glass. So I believe she has seven rebounds right now in the <laughs> she, game, Darrell. She has, yes, Heinz mistaken. Clark has seven rebounds, six points. She is well on her way to another double-double. Aggressive and, and early. It's only the second quarter. But, you know, I think a part of her aggressiveness in this ball game is the fact that she did not play a lot in that William & Mary game because of foul trouble, and she didn't really play until the fourth. And so I think she's like, I'm not missing out on this opportunity today. Absolutely. She's ready to go. Miller inside. Nice play. Oh, nice move. That's what LaSalle needs to do, move it around and get the ball to in a scoring position. And Spruill got the two points on that one. 20 to 13. Now it's seven points. Slowly but surely, LaSalle is crawling their way back into this game. Holt on the baseline. They got Parson. Great ball movement by Richmond. Squires for three. And that bounces off the side of the rim. Rebound Miller. And LaSalle not going away. Has the basketball. Spruill over to Sanders. Back to Sweeney at the top of the key. Morgan has it. Back to Sweeney. Sweeney, a little bit of a pump fake. Slides his nice oh, pass. Beautiful pass to Sproul. And then Sproul finishes with the reverse. Oh. That's a timeout by Richmond. And, and Five would, point game. Whew, I would call a timeout too in this situation. Man, great ball move. You got to give it to Mc, McGillivray, the coach. He, he switched it up on defense, gave Richmond another look, brought a high 2 3, brought them the energy. And then on offense, they started getting the ball in the key. Yeah, and, and, and now it seems like. Richmond's going to have to, they're gonna, now Coach Schaefer is in a situation where he's going to have to Make start to adjustments. rethink things because, you know, Wade Miller a, a, has played in the inside. She's been playing tough. Aguafong has been amazing inside so far. It's a, it's a different ball game. Yeah, those two quick layups down low just shows you that he was able to show them where they needed to space out on the floor on offense. So 20 to 15 here at the timeout, six minutes and 37 seconds left in the second period. We'll be back here in just a second. All right, back here from this timeout, 20 to 15. Richmond up, six minutes and 37 seconds on the clock. It is Richmond basketball. On the floor for Richmond, Duggan, Holt, Parson. Full Ruffin, court press by LaSalle. And Hines Clark. Oh, good full court press right here. Richmond breaks it. Parson for three. And off the front of the rim, a tough rebound by Duggan. And that Clolt up. Uh, Holt has it at the top of the key. LaSalle playing good defense now. They're going to have to box out and get this rebound. Man, Richmond's ball movement has been phenomenal. Dug, Dug it, it for three. Off the side of the rim. Rebound Sanders. I tell you what, ball great, still great ball movement by Richmond, but just couldn't couldn't capitalize. Sanders driving to the basket. Ah. And Miller takes a... She throws it, Dug and gets it off the steal. Try to get it to Parson, almost lost control of it. They had a three-on-one, but they were out of control. Finds Holt, 
Holt driving to the basket, kicks out the roughing. Heinz Clark jumper from that's the free throw. Shot. And she gets it. I think that's the third time she's hit that today. Yeah, that's sh either short corner or free throw line extended. Heinz Clark's bread and butter. She's got eight. 8.7 rebounds. <laughs> well on the way to that double-double. Right. She is Richmond's leader right now on the floor. Sanders has it being guarded by Parson. Pull-up jumper. And that hits all glass on that one. Rebound by Ruffin. Yeah, LaSalle needs to stay patient. They're not out of this game yet. They had some layups off of the plays McGill McGillivray had, uh, had drawn up. They need to stick with it. 22-15, five minutes and two seconds. It look like we got some Nice subs baseline Ooh, move by Ruffin. Tejo Ruffin. Nice. Takes the contact. And one. Oh, man. Nice play. She gave that stutter step on the baseline like Dwayne Wade there, Darrell. Yeah, yeah. Made me smile a little bit. I will say this. I mean, this is what they missed against Mason, that toughness from that senior uh, for a team that doesn't have a ton of seniors on there. And she came in, big play. The young lady from Louisville made it happen. Yeah, she makes a play when the Spiders need it, no matter what it is. If it's to find the find the open man when they have a scoring drought, when they need a rebound, Ruffin's always there. So she misses. 24 to 15, nine-point lead. And we have a quick situation. I guess they forgot to let the substitute come in on that one. Oh, yeah, Ruffin went back to the to the locker room there, or to the back. Maybe they went I'm to go sure. check on her. Yeah, and the ref whispered something to Coach Schaefer. I'm not sure what's going on, but we'll find out. Yeah, oh, lost control there, overthrew the phone. And Mraz came up with it. Dug in a little bit of a hesitation, gets it out to Mraz, back to hold at the top of the key. Dug in for three. That's going to be a little short. Heinz Clark tried to grab it, but that's going to be out of bounds on her, and it will be LaSalle basketball. Uh, both teams looking like they're starting to slow down scoring-wise here. Now they got to find a way to maybe pick it back up a little bit here. That's Sanders. Has the basketball. Oh, in. Oh, yo, man. <laughs> that would have been interesting. Clark interrupts the pass to Guafong, and it almost goes in the basket. They almost scored it. I wonder if they would have gave her the points. <laughs> Mraz driving to the basket. Gives it to Parson, and we got a traveling violation on Mraz. Uh, Richmond looks like they're losing their momentum offensively. They need something to pick them up here. Yeah, I see Holt is encouraging the girls trying to trying to get them to keep their heads up here. 24 of the 15, four minutes left in this second period. LaSalle just ran that same play that they ran for Guafong earlier, but Richmond were hip to it this time. Ooh, using the body there, but could not bring it in. Guafong, you just, I mean, the strength, she just knocked, she knocked Hines Clark over a foot, she, just couldn't bring it in. She had the whole position to score right there, Darrell. I'm not going to lie to you. I wish that in, in high school I had that strength. I just, yeah. <laughs> just wasn't that strong. She was able to move her clear out the paint. 24 to 15. Three minutes and 42 seconds left in this period, left in this half. Richmond goes to a little 1-4 low. Ball screens on Holt. offense. Oh, Holt with a beautiful pass to Hines Clark. And one. I love Holt's game. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that pass? <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, just the – Beautiful pass. She just, she thread the needle on that bad boy right to Hines Clark inside. I'll tell you what, she has a high IQ. She does. You can tell she's comfortable with the basketball. She's never rushing. She knows how the offense works. And Clark could not make that one happen. 26-15. Man, I tell you what, man. That Claire Holt. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah, she's balling out. Sanders has it at the top of the key, gives it over to White. 11-point game for Richmond right now. White inside to Griffon with the right-hand nice hook. Nice finish. Nice move. 26 to 17. Still a nine-point lead here. Well, now a nine-point lead here. Hold over to Parson. Maraz, pump fake. Parson for three. Boom. Bang. <laughs> Alex Parson. Tell you what, just when LaSalle thinks they find some answers, they get another problem in Alex Parson. 29 to 17. 
Two minutes and 38 seconds. White has the basketball. Looking, gives it to Sanders. Sproul, spin move with the right hand. Just wouldn't fall. Heinz Clark knocks it over to Mraz. Rebound Richmond. Not a bad look there. She couldn't get the touch off the glass. Parson takes a dribble, gives it to Mraz. Ooh, she oh, might have got away. Oh, that was close. Heinz Clark and jumper. Oh, tough no rebound good. by Duggan. Duggan finds it. Oh, and uh, oh, not able to keep man. it alive. That was a tough rebound by and, Duggan. And Holt, again, drove baseline and found Hans Clark on the pop-out. It was almost another was conversion. Just, just beautiful. I can see why you fall in love with her game. I mean, she just she makes the right play every time, and she's always looking for her teammates. That's, yeah. that's what you want on your team. You're a Richard Spider fan. You got something to smile about in Claire Holt. She's only a freshman. 29 to 17. Ah, miscommunication from LaSalle. They're going to turn it over. 29 to 17. 12 point lead here for Richmond. Under two minutes. Mustafa's back in the game for Richmond. She's going to get a few more minutes here. This is probably the most I've seen Richmond use of their bench the entire season. Everybody's played a little bit. Holt for three off the side of the rim. Rough and tough rebound and put back. How did she get that rebound, Dora? I don't know. I mean, you got the height in Amber Wilkes. She was Wilkes. sworn by blue jerseys down <laughs> low, and I, I did not see her. Well, let's see the height here. Amber Wilkes, 6'3", junior. She was in the mix there. <laughs> you also had, uh, I believe you had White there, and White 6'1". So you had three, two or three young and ladies. 5'9", Deja Ruffin and comes she, down with a rebound. She snuck in there. And then missing it. Deja Ruffin is having a really rough day. And, and, I'm starting to think it has to be a risk. I mean, and you know, you, you hate to speculate, but she's 0 for, 0 for 4 right yeah, now. Yeah, she went to the locker room a few minutes ago, Darrell, and had to come out quickly. And she makes that one. She struggled from the free throw line today, 1 for 5. 30 to 17. Richmond Spiders over LaSalle right now. 13 point lead for Richmond. Wilkes over to Morgan for 3. And she misses no off the side of the ring. White battling, but Ruffin gets the rebound. Ruffin up the floor, looking. Foul. Ooh. Too high for just, Holt. It was, a, it was a good thought, just a little high. Squires comes in for Duggan. 13-point lead. Uh, LaSalle's just going to have to find a refresher offensively here. Kofong out of the game. Morgan looking inside to Wilkes. She can't hang on. This is, and you know, I think if you, you know, you're looking at this LaSalle team, you, you can see why they've struggled at some points this season. As, as if this is what they unfortunately have been going through, this is this is where you yeah. can tell the difference in, in the team. And they, they're young in, to an aspect. They only have one senior. Yeah, turnovers are killing them, though. Turnovers, they don't have a, a person who can handle the ball for the most part and get the offense running the way it should be. Oh, Ruffin inside. Tough shot there by Deja Ruffin. 32-17 uh, Richmond. That wrist is not stopping her competitiveness. Yeah, she, I don't, I'm not surprised by that one bit. White has it. Spruill for three. Off the side of the rim, rebound by Wilkes. Nice rebound. And knocked away by Mustaf. And Squires trying to clear some she space there. With it. Parson has it, slows it up. 30 seconds left, 22 seconds on the shot clock. Uh, they'll be able to get a good shot here. Probably about eight seconds will be left. Six seconds will be left. Oh, Parson slipped. slipped. Oh. They call the foul on LaSalle. That's the first time I've ever seen a referee make that symbol. Hand in there, and he did a little a, a swim. It looked like a soccer foul, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 32-17. A little sweep kick there, man. As Parson ahead to the line. Parson right now, eight points on the day. Two for six from three-point line. This is her first trip to the free throw line. And she misses. No Richmond is really hurting themselves from the free throw line today. And right now, they are three for nine. Yeah, they're, they're in command, but you got to think that that may come back to haunt them. I mean, just imagine. They could be up by 20 right now. And they call a timeout. And so we got a timeout here. And at least, yeah, we're just trying to make sure. This No, there might have been a technical foul call here. I think so. And Did they give it to McGillivray? And he is giving the, <laughs> he's giving the other ref a handful. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's he, upset. He's not he's not thrilled. I don't know what it was. He didn't he, he didn't say anything till after the first free throw, so I'm not sure if it was about the foul itself or Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I, I like his passion. I mean he, he they haven't had a a lot of bright spots, no. but he, he believes in this team. If you can read his lips, it's not pretty right it's now. It's not. <laughs> I can read them quite quite clear. Censored on Legacy Maker TV. Yeah, we can't we can't we can't express to you, but we can tell you there's some explicit <laughs> explicatives <laughs> that are going down. Thirty four to seventeen. LaSalle has the basketball down by seventeen. Sanders tough to the basket with the floater. She gets the foul. I think this one's gonna be on Parson. And maybe he fired him up. She went straight at Parson to the basket. 11 seconds left in this first half. And so Sanders will head to the line. No points on the day. 0 for 4 from the field. She has one rebound, one assist. She's yeah. got two fouls. I think she's sharing uh, She's sharing ball handling skills uh, with the absence of Deja King, you know, which looks like it may have changed her game a little bit, Darrell. She looks like she's an off-the-ball type of guard. But, uh, and they've had to use her for other things. Exactly. So 34 to 18. A little discussion here, a little switching going on here as White and Wilkes are going to hit back on the opposite side of the court. Sanders looking to make this a 15-point game. And she does just that. 34 19, Carpenter. 10 seconds. Carpenter now in the game. They Six have the press on. Squire's in trouble. Finds Parson. Parson. Off the side. Rebound there by LaSalle. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the second quarter. We're at halftime. The score, the Richmond Spiders 34, the LaSalle Explorers 19. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the half. The Richmond Spiders, impressive. That's all I can say. 34 to 19 over LaSalle here as we're at halftime. Lamont, what were your thoughts of that first half? Well, they are in control. Richmond is doing what they usually do. They're moving the ball. They're playing tight defense, um, and they look like they're in control of this game. If you're LaSalle, I feel like what you have to do is you have to find some type of offensive identity here in the second half. They average about nine points in each quarter in the first half. And what they're going to need, Darrell, is they're going to need a strict game plan. Uh, if they're not getting it in to the inside, it, they struggle. They struggle ball handling. They, they're throwing the ball away. And that's not going to keep you in the game here against Richmond. Yeah, I mean, this Richmond team has come out and, and crisp ball movement. That's probably one of the biggest takeaways I'll take from this half is the, the ball movement and being able to find the great shots. Uh, Claire Holt. I mean, what else can we say about that young lady and the, and the passes that she she's made in this game? She is a difference maker. Okay, she's only a freshman. And, you know, LaSalle has a few freshmen too, but I don't see any of them having the IQ that Claire Holt has. She knows right. how, she knows when to penetrate. She knows how to get it out of there, get to a, get to somebody in scoring position. She is a weapon. It looks like she's going to be a, 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 a feature yeah. star here maybe in Richmond. Well, that pass she had in line, Hines Clark, that beautiful. I mean, she thread the needle on that bad she boy. She right? her a few times. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, we're at the half. Richmond up 34 to 19. There, it's alumni day. The alumni are being uh, are being uh, what's the word I want to use They're here? Being recognized They're being here. recognized here. And so we're going to swing and then uh, check that out. Once again, everybody, thank you all. We'll be back here. Third quarter about to be on the win. Just a second. Legacy maker. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Third quarter about to get underway on the floor for Richmond. Hines, Clark, Duggan, Mraz, Holt, and Parson. And we're still waiting for the LaSalle group to come out. Sanders, Morgan, Sproul, Miller, and Reese. All right, now third quarter here, Darrell. This is where Richmond struggled, so we'll see. If they're going to hold on, continue to be dominant here. 34-19. Can the Spiders hold on to this 15-point lead? Here at home, Duggan over to Holt. Holt takes a dribble of two, kicks it back out to Mraz at the top of the key. She dribbles to Duggan. Duggan, the great ball moving again. Holt for three. Now off the side of the rim, rebound, Spruill. Still nice movement by Richmond. They just weren't able to convert there. Sanders, this is the best ball movement I've seen for Richmond all year. Sanders for three. 
No good. Sproul with the rebound. She tried to get it. Parson with the steal. And she tried to get past She's racing Duggan. back up the court. Oh, no. Ooh, it was a good thought there. She was looking for Heinz Clark. Reese up the floor. Sproul has the basketball. Driving in the lane. Spin nice move. move. No good. Miller with a Miller great with rebound. rebound. Ooh, she nice puts it that. in with the left hand. I tell you what, man. This is athletic. 13-point lead for Richmond, 34 to 21 here. If you're LaSalle here, Lamont, what do you what do you what do you want to do here in this third quarter? Well, of course you want to get some stops. Uh that what? didn't look good. But you want to get some stops here one by one, but at the same time you want to Oh, Ooh, that was a get Mraz on the foul at half court. Sanders was rolling down the floor. Yeah. But yeah, you want to get some stops if you're LaSalle, and then on offense, you just have to look more crisp. You have to get some open shots. You have to get some good looks. And you might even have to start crashing the offensive glass more. I still think Miller is a key part of what LaSalle needs to do here in this second half. They got to find a way. They got the height. They got to find a way to utilize that height. Her and I think Sproul actually looks like she knows the offense pretty well as well. Oh, it was a good thought there by Miller, but it bounced off the foot of Hines Clark. Smothered and by Hines Clark, and she's going to get called for three seconds in the key. Uh, three seconds there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the ref had me giggling on that one. <laughs> like They're the, animated today. She was like, whoa. That and the trip move. Yeah, the trip move is what, is what still has me like baffled. A Mortal Kombat move. Yeah. 34-21. Yeah. <laughs> Duggan over to Morass. Nice pass down low. But Miller able to get Miller active hand. She wanted the ball. She wanted the call. She did. But that's that's the length. You know, I mean, she was able to get her hand in there and stop it. Looked like a really good pass from Mraz to Clark, but nevertheless, 34-21. Duggan has it. Eight minutes and ten seconds on the clock. Thirteen seconds on the shot clock. Parson gives it to Holt. A little bit of a pump fake. Dribbles to the 810 logo. Another Five, great pass by Clark. Claire Holt. She does it again, Lamont. The distributor. Yes. Oh, man, what a great pass. But you are 100% right about her basketball IQ. She just has wonderful time in Darrell. It's wonderful time, and you always want that when you have a team full of players that can put the ball in the basket. Reese is in trouble in the corner looking for Sanders. Tipped off her finger, and Morgan was able to corral it. Sanders now has it. Driving to the basket. Tough. Oh, no, what a I, finish. I don't know how she made it that. It hit the front rim, Darrell. It was weird because she drove to the basket. The ball was off. I don't know which win, Richmond defender's hands, and it rolled up the Richmond defender's hand, hit the front of the basket, and rolled in. That was an athletic move. In <laughs> high school, she's a state competitor in high jump as well as long jump as well. Driving to the basket here. Heinz Clark kicks it out the hold. Parson, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Holt being guarded by Morgan over to Duggan. Duggan gives it to Morass. Morass back to Holt. Holt has it on the right wing. Decides to drive, kicks it over to Morass. Jump Up shot. Shot, shot it, clock violation. You know, I will say this about Richmond right now. Even though some of you know the ball movement has worked, they're killing clock. They they're holding on to the lead. The ball movement, they're getting decent shots. Some of them are just not falling. And this is what the third quarter has looked like for Richmond for most of the season. Again, yeah. they've only scored two points so far in the third quarter, so be on the lookout. If, if LaSalle starts to find their offensive game, Darrell, we might be in for a closer game than, we, than we've than we expected. Exactly. 34, excuse me, 36-23. Sweeney now in the game. Gives it to Morgan for three, and that hits just nothing but glass. And here comes Hines Clark up the floor, leading the break, slows it down, and hands it off to Parson. Parson being guarded by Sweeney. Swings it over to Ruffin, who's now in the game for Richmond. Driving to the basket Clear with lane. the left. No good. Rebound, Hans Clark. Clark. Bam. Hans Clark has 14. And I believe she may be close to 10 rebounds as well, right? Yeah, she's got 10. She's got 10 rebounds, it's 14 double -double. points. Another double-double for Miss Clark. Hans Clark is just having a phenomenal year, and Parsons is down. And that's something you do not want to see if you're a Richmond fan. She's looked like she's kind of looked like she was holding her arm, but now it seems like she may have just landed awkwardly. We don't know exactly what it is, but Coach Schaefer comes over to help her out. Yeah, I think she hit the ground kind of hard. 
she's walking off, so that's, that's a good look. But it got silent here, Robert Center. You, you do not want to see your leader. <laughs> you can't afford to like lose. That. Can't afford to lose Parson. Can't lose those points. Can't lose that leadership. 38-23. Yeah, she's a true floor general, so we hope to see her back here soon. Oh, good job there by Heinz Clark getting her hand in there. And Ruffin gets the ball here for Richmond from the inbound. Cloak, a little bit of a baby oh, crossover. crossover. Oh, she tried to get it to Heinz Clark. Gets off, hits off a Reese's foot. 38-23. But she was looking for it. That's the, one of the big reasons why Heinz Clark is 6 for 11 from the field right now. Reese driving to the basket. And she's going to get fouled. And I think this one is going to be on Miss Amy Duggan. It is. And Duggan, that's her second. The Squires comes back in the game for Duggan. Sanders taking the ball out here. 15-point game, 38-23, Spiders. Oh, Tough the, drive. The senior trying to get something going here. <laughs> Ice Clark, I think, got called for the foul on that one. I think they gave it a jump ball. Jump ball possession. Oh, jump ball, though, because it's foul. So, jump ball. Richmond wanted a foul on Reese there. And Reese has the basketball now. Kofong in the post. Nice defense by Hans Clark. She gets the block. Kofong couldn't get things going there as Holt Three leading the two. charge. And smartly backs it out, resets it, gives it to Ruffin. Being guarded by Reese at the top of the key. Carpenter driving to the basket. Pull up jumper nice. from the A-10 logo, no good. And rebound Sweeney. 15 point game. 38-23, five minutes and 10 seconds left in the third period. And this one. All right, Richmond getting on, called for a lot of fouls here. A lot of fouls. Got a third. They have 14 fouls already. So Mustafa is back in the game. Taking over Hans Clark. And she gets the dubious task of battling against Gafong. Sproul for three, no good. A battle down low between Squires and Gaffon. And Mustaf gets man. the block but gets called for the foul. And she rolls her eyes like that was all ball. Man, I tell you what, Coach McGillivray is still upset. He has he is he is really giving it to the ref on this one. I'm don't know what he's upset about him, but he does not look thrilled. Yeah. Uh, LaSalle's one for ten from three-point range today, Durrell. So they're, it's not their strength. They haven't been able to convert from beyond the arc. Well, you know, you know, looking at, uh, you know, this LaSalle team, they're ranked at the bottom in three-pointers made. Uh, and so that's, it's, it's just one of those things where if it's not your strong suit, maybe you go to something that could help you out. And like I said, they have the height, and you can tell they've got some players down low that can make some moves. Look, 15-point game with 15 minutes to go, very doable in basketball. This Absolutely. Is a, it's a game of runs. The question is, what can LaSalle do to make that run? Yeah. They don't look like a lot of times you need a, a really good ball handler. Like we see from um, Richmond, Parson and Holt are able to get into the lane to be able to draw the defense to dish into the paint for a score and LaSalle is lacking that, so they settle for three-pointers that they're not able to convert on, and uh, especially when you get down uh, by a good amount, Darrell, it's, it's hard to hard to climb back from that. Yeah, and so right now, if you're LaSalle, you just you, ha you just have to find a way to get yourselves, you know, take it out of possession at a time, get a few defensive stops. I mean, you can get yourself, you know, well, maybe a 8-0 run here. You yeah. put yourself back in a good position. I'll tell you what they did do. In the second quarter, they went to a press, a half-court press, and then they went to a full-court press, and it seems effective. I mean, if you got, you can bring the energy with a long, lengthy team like that, you may be able to force some turnovers that can help you out here. Well, we're going to see. We'll see what they'll be able to do here. Timeout's over. You know, Hines Clark, who's performing extremely well for Richmond today, uh, she has 14 points, got her 10 rebounds, her NAF double-double of the year. She's been phenomenal today for Richmond, and she's getting the breather. And Sweeney misses the first. 
here for LaSalle. And Alice Parsons making her way back in the game. That's a good sight there for Spiders fans. Absolutely. She and the crowd some, shows her some love. Got to give some love. Sweeney. And she makes that one. LaSalle now three for four from free throw. Uh, you can tell that they haven't been as aggressive today. They've only shot four free throws the entire game. And Richmond has 12. The thing about this is if Richmond made a, a few more of their free throws, they're, they're really up by 20 here. Yeah, what a what a pass into Ruffin uh, from Parson. And that's what I love about Ruffin. You know, she always finds her way to the line. And even in this situation, you know, where she struggled at the beginning of the game from the free throw line, she's one for five so far. Uh, but she keeps going. And, right. she, you know, the free ones are the best ones. Right. 12 attempts from Richmond thus far. Now six for 13. It's a, a huge discrepancy from LaSalle's three for four. 39 to 24. Richmond is really doing a great job in this ball game. And that one thought about it. and They're going to call over the back. <laughs> Monty's like, okay, I guess so. And she just goes about her way, 39 yeah. to 24. Mustaf looks like every time she gets called for a foul, she's like, they're just too short. Right. I mean, is, <laughs> is that my problem? <laughs> <laughs> and Reese will head to the line. So Richmond already in the bonus here. And that, that may help pull us out, being that they weren't able to get to the free throw line. Now – they got Richmond in foul trouble. We'll see if they can take advantage of that. And Reese makes them both. The senior and heads right out of the game. And Michelle Nichols comes back from New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Played with VCU's Tara Reed. Yeah, she actually played for the U16 and 17 teams, the national teams. She's able to go to a regional fi final as a sophomore. Oh, Mustaf had a great opportunity there and could not capitalize. Sanders bringing it back up the court. Sweeney for three. Boom. Oh, she gets it. And that's what they needed. Ten-point game. This is a ten-point game. Let's see what uh, McGillivray does. Oh, great oh, steal, steal by, by Miller. Look ahead to Sweeney. Sweeney driving to the basket inside and could not capitalize. Oh, good. Oh, they could have used that one. Richmond has numbers coming back up the court. Ruffin, the Parson on the baseline, and this is going to go back to LaSalle. So this is not all bad they here for LaSalle. Child. I think she stepped out of bounds. Oh, okay. She stepped out of bounds in that corner. From over here, it was hard to see, but they called. She stepped out of bounds. 39-29. And they could have capitalized on that last one. We're talking about a momentum swing here for LaSalle. That yeah, that would have been big if they would have got a bucket and closed it to eight or seven there. If LaSalle can make something happen here. I mean, great shape. And this one is going to go against LaSalle. Offensive foul. Uh, and this one, I believe, is on Sanders. Neither team can take momentum, but if... If you're LaSalle, now is the time. You know, Richmond struggles in the in the third quarter of games. So far, they've only scored five points to LaSalle's ten. So we'll see if they're able to continue to, to build some momentum here. See if this can go down here, 39-29. LaSalle in a 2-1-2 now, oh. and I like it. And what it's doing, Darrell, is, is getting Richmond to hesitate. Uh, two times up the floor now, Richmond – cannot survey the floor because they're given a different look by LaSalle. They're in a 2-1-2, so you can't run across the paint freely before you see a person sitting there in the middle of the key. Oh, you talked about it earlier, the adjustments. Making the adjustments in the ball game. Spruill kicked it out to Sweeney. Out to Sweeney. Oh, oh and there's a hot. three. It is a seven-point game. That's two in a row for Sweeney. Richmond calls timeout. Seven-point game, 39-32, Richmond but, Spiders. But that's what you talked about, making adjustments, and that's what uh, Coach McGillivray has done a great job at. Even though they hadn't capitalized early in the game, he still were able to get things going. And here we go, seven-point game. I had to give it to him because when he brought out that press, he was able to have Richmond turn the ball over a few times, and then uh, Richmond got control of it. But definitely when you throw a different look at him like that, Darrell, it causes them to think twice. And so if you're a Coach Schaefer right now, what are you telling your ladies? Uh, you're telling them to not break down. You know, they still have two great ball handlers in Holt and Parson. Um, you're going to tell them to make sure that, you know, they, they take control of the ball right here. You don't want to have too many turnovers. You want to take your time, set up in your half-court offense, move the ball until you're able to get the look that you want like they were doing in the first half here. Well, we'll see what happens here. Three minutes and 28 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, uh, left in this third period. We're at a timeout. Richmond 39, LaSalle 32. 
Oh, we're getting back here from the timeout. Richmond, 39 to 32. And right now, LaSalle on a beautiful 9 to 1 run. Yeah, and total for the quarter, I think they're back. It's a 13 to 5 run here. So great job by LaSalle here in this third quarter, making things happen. Holt has it. A little hesitation, gives it over to Parson. We'll see what Schaefer, Coach Schaefer for Richmond, cooked up. And he, LaSalle is back in the. Oh, beautiful pass right. there by Parson to Ruffin. 41-32. Now LaSalle switched their look up. They got out of the 2-1-2, two -two and Richmond took advantage. Hey, man, they might have to go back to it. <laughs> we'll see. Nichols at the top. Over to Sweeney. Sweeney, who's been the hot hand for LaSalle. And tried to get it into Miller. Too much. Just a little too high. Miller couldn't control it. Hans Clark comes away with it. Squires has it. Gives it over to Parson. Parson over to Holt. Holt inside to Hans Clark, who has it at the free throw line. Gives it back to Holt. Driving. Beautiful pass to Hans Clark. And oh, it will not fall. Go. But that chemistry is there. Hans Clark and, and Holt. Holt. I mean, it's been a... I mean, I bet you practice is a phenomenal. It's a beautiful one-two thing. She couldn't get it to go that time, and you could tell Hans Clark wants that back. I mean, whoever taught Claire Holt the game, you should pat yourself on the back. Uh, definitely. <laughs> you should pat yourself definitely. on the back. Holt takes it out. Nine-point lead for Richmond. Two minutes, 28 seconds here in the third period. Parson, fresh shot clock here. Squires takes a dribble, kicks it to Holt. Holt Corner. three. And no uh, rebound. What there a by, rebound. Oh, Squires. And here comes the fast the break. LaSalle up the floor. And they slow it down. Gives it to Sweeney. Sweeney to Sanders. Sanders driving to the basket and <laughs> behind Clark like a wall. But Sweeney, Sweeney. in the corner. And no that good. one bounces off the back of the rim, off the top of the back. Squires backboard. is actually big on the glass right now. She's controlling the boards. Holt. Holt has it. And Miller. Great job there. Knocks it away. 16 seconds on the shot clock. Hulk driving to the basket. Hulk to Squires. Squires now. She'll make her attempt at the basket. And a Gets great drive. <laughs> nice. Emma Squires. I'll tell you what. McGillivray is still in his bag. That time he puts Miller, the, his his long, lengthy forward, on Hulk. And it kind of disrupted her at the top of the key there. Down by 11. They call a hand check. Man, I've never heard nobody. I, I haven't heard nobody on, on Squires. <laughs> I haven't heard nobody call that and out loud in a long Richmond time. Richmond <laughs> has been, I mean, they've been called for a lot of fouls here in the third quarter. That's going to send LaSalle back to the line. And Nichols is going to head to the line here. Nichols from New Zealand. And she makes the first. Ten-point game here. If you're LaSalle and you... Go into the fourth quarter down seven or less. You've got a good chance. You, really good you've chance. You've given yourself a chance in this ball game. And off the front of the rim, that one goes. Here comes Parson. Up the floor. Nichols, great effort there, and she goes into the crowd. Not able to save it. It's going to stay Richmond ball. Ten-point game. Sproul comes back into the game for Nichols. Minute 18 left here in this third period. Squires has it, hands it off to Parson, being guarded by Sanders here. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Hines Clark with the pick. Parson kicks it out the hole. Ooh, and that three will not go in, but she's, she's going to get fouled. three opportunities. That is not what you want if you're LaSalle right now. Force them to take a shot from the outside. And now she's going to go to the line for three. Holt, who's got three points on the day. She's one for five, 0 for four from the three-point. Not the Maybe not the game she had the other day, but four rebounds. And she's got five assists. Five assists. She's found a way to make her mark in other, other ways, Darrell. She's done such a great job of that today. Chance here. Free throw number one. And she makes it. Holt. Another opportunity here. Boom. And she makes both. So I guess she may have 45-33. Richmond Spiders, one minute left to play in the third quarter. Oh. Sanders. Tough one right there. Up the floor. The baseball pass to, to Ruffin. Ruffin. Could not capitalize. And they're going to say it goes to LaSalle. Reese was there. Guess she was able to avoid the basketball on that one. 
Yeah, Sanders forced it last time up the floor. You still have enough time to, to get some good looks if you're LaSalle. Sanders to Sweeney. Sweeney's got 10 points on the day. Three for four from three-point line. Mid-range. No Misses good. that one. Fights for it. Hines Clark gets the rebound. Holt slowing it down here. 30 seconds left in this third quarter. 23 seconds on the shot clock. Holt being guarded by Sweeney. Holt, nice little move there. Gets to the inside. Right from wow. the A-10 logo. Can't capitalize. She rebound Sweeney. to the left hand and give she her did. that space, but it, <laughs> Just it didn't couldn't. go. Just couldn't fall. Sanders has it. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Excuse me. 12 seconds left on the clock here. Six, five, Spool four. has it. Reese, and she's fouled. Ah, and if you're Richmond, there again. That's a tough one right yeah, there. Yeah, Coach Schaefer did not like that. He's like, I'm almost out the half, man. <laughs> He's going down the bench like, who's not going to foul a LaSalle player right now? But in his defense, I mean, the refs look like they've been calling a lot of fouls on Richmond, slowing it down. Yeah. So 45-34, Richmond up by 11. Reese, the senior, she knocks it down. Reese has had herself a really solid game from the free throw line today. And yeah, that is it. Three. Four for four. Four for four from the free throw line today. Uh, oh, four from the field, but doing great from the free throw line. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it here for the third quarter. With the score, the Richmond Riders 45, the LaSalle Explorers 35. All right, ladies and gentlemen, end of the third quarter, the Spiders holding on to a 10-point lead, 45 to 35. Lamont, uh, what are your thoughts? Third quarter so far, uh, Richmond kind of slowed down there in the third quarter. Yeah, we've talked about that. They struggle in the third quarter, and LaSalle, like they had a few opportunities to climb back into this game. They're down 10 right now. It's only a few possessions, but you still have to ask the question, what are they going to do offensively to see if they can try to come back and win it? Uh, Shayla Sweeney, the freshman, she got hot from from uh, the field in the third quarter. She hit two threes. Uh, is it going to be her? Is it going to be Miller? Uh, who's it going to be for LaSalle to uh, push to see if they can get back into this game? That's going to be the critical part here. Can LaSalle get back in this game? It is a 10-point game to score. Richmond 45, LaSalle 35, and then we'll take you to the third quarter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, fourth quarter, 45-35. Richmond has the basketball roughing, driving in the lane, miss. Heinz Clark battling for it, and it goes out of bounds, LaSalle basketball. Ruffin couldn't believe the call. 10-point game here. Can the Explorers explore their way into the lead? Can they find a way to get back? Uh, they've been caught in Richmond's web, so to speak, so far, Darrell. Want we'll to see if they can break free offensively. Gets it out to Reese. Reese driving in the basket. Blocked like there block. by Duggan. Oh, tough one Lamont there. gets it back. Eight-point game, 45-37. She's been tough all game. And, and she right now with six points. Eight-point game. LaSalle is in it. Duggan, a little bit of a pump fake. Swinging, Swinging it. around the perimeter. That was good. Once again, nice ball movement, Park. making that LaSalle defense work. Duggan, three. Off the back of the rim. Rebound by Ruffin. Another tough one. She is. Oh, that was a tough one. And Ruffin is a warrior. She is not thrilled about when that it one comes either. comes to the rebounds. And Ruffin's got seven rebounds herself. Long to go with those eight points. And coming up here, 45-37. Sanders has the basketball. Taking her time here. Over there to Sproul. Back to Reese at the top of the key. Swings it back over to Sanders. Eight-point game. A nice pass inside to Miller. Miller with the left hand, and she's going to be fouled by Hans Clark. These are going to be big free throws right here, Darrell. LaSalle has not seen a six- or seven-point game since the beginning of the game. We're going to see if Miller can cut the lead here. First one's no good. 
They got to make that one. Got to make that one. Miller. And she makes that one. Seven point game. You said it. If they can get into that range, then we got a seven point game. 45 38. LaSalle has not went away. Oh, oh that's the a, 2 1 2. That's Fools a Richmond again. Tough pass there. They try to make it a pass down to the lane. It gets stolen. Reese driving. Kicks it out to Sanders. Back to Reese at the top. Sweeney has it being guarded by Holt. Richmond in a little bit of trouble. Reese with the it's tough good. shot. That is Time huge. Out Richmond. Cole Schaefer is not thrilled. He 45 is not happy. 40, Richmond Spiders over LaSalle. Oh, man. Five point game. We got a timeout here with eight minutes and seven seconds. Richmond 45, LaSalle 40. All right, we're back here. 45 40, eight minutes and two seconds left in this fourth period. And the big Richmond lead at one point was we're looking at a 17 point game. It's now a five-point game. It is, and Richmond now looks like they're taking care of the ball more. Moraz, nice pass inside to Ruffin. Ruffin swings it to Duggan. Nice Holt. ball movement. Boom! Wow. Clara Holt, she's back. She is cool. Cool as ice. 48 to 40. Big possession by Richmond. He's got eight points on the day. Does Clara Holt four rebounds, five assists. 48 to 40. Nice Miller. footwork. Oh, Miller. Miller in the inside. <laughs> I love the move yeah, to the basket there by and, Miller. Up and under there. Six point game. 48 42. And LaSalle's back in the 2 1 2. What Richmond's going to do, Darrell, they're going to try to see if they can get the ball to the middle somehow. And that's what they're trying to work. You can see oh, it. Oh, there's the. Ruffin, and she's going to get fouled. LaSalle, who's fought their way back into this one. Six-point game. Ruffin heads to the line. Six minutes and 58 seconds left in this fourth quarter. She's showing that leadership. That she knows that LaSalle is, is making a push for it, so she makes a move aggressively to the basket. You know, and she played in the ACC, and you know how tough the ACC can be, having to take on the likes of Notre Dame, the, the former national Absolutely. or the current national champions, and teams like Duke and, and North Carolina. She comes over here to the A-10 and shows some of that skill. She struggled for the line this game, but she's one for two this time. 49-42. You have to wonder a little bit how much is the hand bothering her when she's taking yeah. the, the shots. She's still fighting through, though. 49-42. Miller has it from the Puts right elbow. The floor. Oh, thought about it. Kicks it out. Sproul. No good. She no good. Open. Sanders battling with Duggan. I think this is going to stay with LaSalle. Yeah, Duggan couldn't control it. That was a nice look by Sproul. She couldn't get it to fall. Six Coach, minutes and 34 seconds left. Coach Gilliman has to be happy right now yeah, with the way his team has played. He's got he's to gotta be happy with the way they're fighting. Down low. Another tough shot there by Miller. Gets her own rebound. New shot clock inside. Just and she fighting. Is battling. She just couldn't get it. Hines Clark, just phenomenal defense. She stood her ground. 49-42, seven-point game. Holt walks it up. Surveying the defense. LaSalle's back in man-to-man. -man. Oh, nice move here. Holt driving to the basket, swings it to Mraz, back to Holt for, for three. three. And she misses. Tough rebound by Duggan. And she battles, and they're going to say it stays with Richmond. And I'm going to think this one's going to be on Saunders. Yeah, in the second half, both Duggan and Squires when she was in, making some key rebounds here for Richmond. 49-42. Sanders has fought this entire game. There's one thing I liked when I saw her against VCU. She just never had quit in her. <laughs> she just never had quit in her. 49-42, Holt driving. Yeah, she plays oh. big. The steal by Sweeney. And here comes Sanders, the freshman, back up. The court for LaSalle. Looking for Reese, the senior. Jump shot, boom. Oh. And her first shot from the field today. And Reese. Yeah, Reese has put a few in. So right Five now. Five-point game. 49-44. Yeah, LaSalle is hanging in there. And that one. Parson comes back in. 
They're going to need her down the stretch here. 49-44. And correction, if you were right last time, Reese right now. That was her second field goal. That was her second field yeah, goal but both the in the fourth quarter. The senior showing up here. Duggan to Holt. Holt trying to get inside to Hines Clark. That's, oh. that's just a great effort by Clark. Sal almost comes away with it, but Richmond holds on. Miller, Miller thought she had something going there, but Hines Clark, a little volleyball talent going on there. All right. Spike the ball away. Got Carson it to has it at the top. This is the matchup you want. Oh, oh they knock it away. Great Reach comes away there. with it. Nichols. Nichols knocked it away on that one. Ah. And she brings 44. it up the court for LaSalle. Nichols has it. Being guarded by Parson. And she seems like she's the ball handler when uh, Sanders isn't in. Swings it. Ooh. Reese inside. Tough Ooh. defense by Richmond. Oh, they're battling. A few offensive rebounds by LaSalle. I'm not going to lie to you. Miller just, he, man, man it just, just cannot those elbows. score. Oh, man, they had five opportunities, and Duggan got pushed like six feet on that one. I mean, Miller is just tough down yeah, low. Yeah, she, she moved her across the paint, but they couldn't get it to go. And Richmond showing some toughness themselves right here. Four minutes left. 49-44, Holt. Duggan nice ball movement by Richmond. Duggan Ruffin comes off the pick. Oh. Spin move. Oh. Left hand. No good. Oh, man. Battle is continuing here. And Ruffin has it. Holt just coming through again. Knocks those the ball two, to Ruffin. Both of those two players. You got to be confident if you're Richmond right now. You know, another thing we talked about earlier is, like, even though they may have not been scoring on some of the, the ball movement has, has helped them kill some of this clock. Hines Clark has it. Back to Parson. Oh, Parson. Driving with the scoop layup and, and gets, gets her, her own, own rebound. rebound. And this one's going to be on. McGallivray is hot. But she got that offensive rebound underneath there. I mean, I would be too. I mean, we're looking at the statistics here, and Parson, if I'm not mistaken, is like 5'7. Parson is 5'6. And you got your girls out here. Yeah. 6'2", six, 6'3", six, 6'5". Six, yeah, Richmond's got to be proud of themselves on the glass. They're only down four rebounds to LaSalle, but they're giving up so much size. 49-44. Three minutes left. Richmond trying to hold on to this one. They need to deliver it. Start delivering the daggers here. Parson. Mid-range. <sighs> Rebound. Guafong. Nichols brings it back up for LaSalle. 49-44. Over to Reese. Oh, look at this. Great defense by Holt. Nichols for three. No All good. Sproul. Sproul had the rebound. Nichols in trouble. Parsons, great defense. All wide open. Sweeney. No good. Gafong had it for a second, but Ruffin comes away with it. 49-44, two minutes and 37 seconds left. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity for LaSalle. Yeah, Just now you're getting down to the clutch, and I think – if experience is going to be the factor, Richmond has to be liking the chances. Exactly. If you're LaSalle, though, you got to say to yourself, man, we had so many opportunities. Oh, Another one right almost there. Almost stolen. Hans Clark. Miss and a tough rebound there by Nichols. And Nichols takes it up the floor here, down by five. They just need that one big play. Is it the Sproul? Sproul over to Sweeney at the top of the key. Pulls Sweeney for, for three. three. Ooh. Uh, line drive shot. And it's going to be Richmond basketball. So Sanders and Miller are going to make their way back in the game. Just over two minutes to play. McGillivray is just, the animation is real. Uh, I, I love the energy <laughs> this yeah. coach brings on the sideline. And it looks like he doesn't really know where to go with his rotation again. He likes having Sproul in there, but he needs Sanders for the ball movement. Yes. And they're pressing Richmond right at half court. They're back in the 2-1-2. Two, two. Minute 50, 49-44, five-point leads. Duggan has it, swings it to Parson. Parson takes a dribble, swings Parson. it over. Holt. Going to figure it out here. That's Clark back to Parson, top of the key. Bam. There it is. Huge. There it Absolutely is. Absolutely huge. Eight-point game by Richmond. She they knew exactly what to do. She pressed the 2-1-2 two, two in, kicked it out, and then got it back for the three. And it's getting loud in here in the Robin Center. Eight-point game for the Spiders. 
and they call another foul on Richmond. And so right now, that's only their second team foul, which is good compared to the last quarter where yeah. they, had, they had five plus in that last one. They're eight, not putting them on the line as of yet. An eight point game. Reese taking the ball out here for LaSalle. Nichols has it. They're still in this. What a minute to go. They need something huge. Nichols, three, off the side of the rim. Miller, tough rebound. Miller driving to the oh, inside wow. with, oh, that was beautiful. She gets the two, and they call timeout. Post, post scoring 101. All post. right, so we got the timeout here. One minute and seven seconds left to play. Richmond 52, LaSalle 46. All right, y'all, we're back here, 52-46, minute and seven. Left Richmond trying to hold on to get that eighth victory of the season. LaSalle's on a full court press. They're in desperation now. Duggan gets it to Parson. This has got to be close. Oh, Parson she just split made the it. entire oh, defense to rough it. Oh. and a block. Ooh. Tough block there by Nichols. She had to come from behind on that one. And blocks rough and shot. Still a six-point game, 53 seconds. Well, if you're Richmond, you want the ball in the hands of Parson and Holt right now, those two. Parson's really been showing her, Holt's her leadership wide open. here. Holt's wide open. She gives it to her. And she missed it. And that's going to be LaSalle's basketball. That's huge right there because now this is a huge possession for LaSalle. It is. I feel like if they don't score here, there's a strong chance that there's you can yeah. almost end the comeback. Yeah, they have a – and Richmond, they bring their press out now. They're 2-1-2. Two, two. Oh, and good it hustle. works. But it's out of bounds on Richmond. Smart move by Coach Schaefer to put his press in there now as LaSalle looks to bring this lead to the, to the shortest it's ever been. Well, six points right now, and LaSalle's still in it. They just need a few things to go their way. Nichols has it over to Sweeney. Sweeney being guarded by Holt. Swings it. Oh, nice Nichols. play for three. Boom. Oh, she gets it. Ooh. And Nichols has come alive here in the fourth quarter. Three-point three game. Three-point game. 30 seconds left to play. Man, Michelle Nichols. The defense is tough right now. 25 seconds on the clock. LaSalle won't give up. Heinz Clark has it. Hold on to the basketball. To and Clark will have to go to the line. And I think Reese is the one that is going to be called for the foul on that one. Kudos to LaSalle for the the comeback just, and the just wouldn't give it up. Just wouldn't give up. 52-49, 21.1 seconds. And LaSalle has a real chance here. Yeah. I mean, they've got a shot. And actually, it's a timeout. So they didn't, they didn't take the 15 foul. It's a timeout by Richmond. Oh, really? So that Okay, so that's a good deal right there. We thought it was a foul. If you're looking, if you're LaSalle right now, what do you do? Well, first, got to get the stop. Big stop. I don't know if they're going to come out in the 2-1-2 two one, two one two that they've been in because it's it's been a gamble. And Richmond's starting to figure it out. Parsons getting the ball. She's making them close in. She's dishing it out. Whatever defense McGallivray pulls up, you got to get the stop here. you got to box out. you got to keep Richmond off the offensive glass. Once that happens, then I'm thinking on the offensive end, you're either going to go Nichols or Miller. I say Nichols or Miller. And Sweeney's hit a couple, so you don't know. If you, if you need a three, you may even go back to Sweeney. For the three corner. Well, here we go, y'all. 52 49. What a game. You know, we thought that it was, you know, a blowout. You know, at the halftime, it was 34 to 19. It was a 15 point Richmond lead. And this LaSalle team, opportunity after opportunity, they crawled and they clawed their way back into this game. And big and respects to them, Darrell, yeah. because, you know, they've been taking their, their beatings, you know, but they're, they're, just, they're just continuing on. Here we go. Duggan to Holt. 20 seconds, and Sweeney will foul Holt. I think that's what you want if you're, if you're Richmond. And I guess they will be going to the line here. LaSalle hit him with the fifth one. 19.2 seconds on the clock here as Holt will head to the line. Holt right now, eight points today, two for nine from the field, one for seven from three-point land. She's three for five from the free throw line. Make she it gets four. the first. To four for six, five rebounds, five assists for Claire Holt. Though she's a freshman, Darrell, she's – looks like in everything she does she's she's used to it she's been here before she says this is nothing but basketball 53 49 and she makes it so it's back to five points huge huge free throws right there by Claire Holt definitely 
So with 19.2 seconds, a five-point lead, 54 to 49, we've got a timeout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 19.2 seconds on the clock. LaSalle has the basketball here and an opportunity to make things happen. They're going to need a quick score here. And they don't need the three right off the bat. They get it in the Reese. Reese driving. With the floater. Floater. Ooh. And it's good. Bank is open. 15 seconds left. And they're going to have to foul immediately. Definitely. Ooh, they almost, almost got the steal clean. But Holt's going to head to the line. 54-51. What? You know, I, you know we, we've done a lot of games. But to see a team work so hard to work themselves back, you know, just as a fan of basketball, makes me smile. Yeah, I, I, I think that, you know, a lot of times they say uh, your their coaches, uh, as he goes, they go. And you can tell that uh, McGallivray, McGallivray, he he is a fighter. You know, he's a fighter. He He's not giving up, and neither are the girls. And she makes both. So 56-51. Clutch free throws. Claire Holt has just come through. And she's got 11 right now. Six from eight from the free throw line. She's made all the ones that you needed to make. Yep. So 14 seconds, 56 to 51. Richmond up by five. All right, 56, 51, 14 seconds on the clock. LaSalle has the basketball here. Going to need a quick basket. Just hanging around. A foul again. Nichols to Sanders. Thought about it, almost oh, lost control of it. Most gets it locked up. Nichols being guarded heavily by Moraz. Look at Moraz dive on the, on the floor. Is they going to call foul on Moraz? She's looking. Let's see. What's the call? They do. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm not going to lie to you. That was a heads up play by Moraz oh. to get on the ground for the ball. Lamont, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, she's. I personally, I thought it was clean. I thought she got it too. 5.9 seconds left in this ball game. Unless LaSalle can pull a rabbit out their hat. Nichols trapped in the corner. Shoot. Sanders driving. Floater. No, no good. good. Rebound. Not Richmond sure. wins. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it here from the Robin Center. The final score of the Richmond Spiders, 56. The LaSalle Explorers, 51. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done here at the Robin Center. Final score, the Richmond Spiders, 56. The LaSalle Explorers, 51. Lamont, we got ourselves an entertaining game. We thought that it was at halftime. It was a 15-point game. It didn't look good uh, on in LaSalle's favor, but LaSalle came back, made a great effort, but just couldn't finish it off. Yeah, uh, Coach McGallivray for uh, LaSalle, uh, head, hats off to him because he made some adjustments in the second quarter. Um, I'm sorry, the second half, and they, they fought back. I mean, uh, they got to a 2-1-2 defense, forced Richmond to turn it over. Uh, I think Richmond had five points after, what, six or seven minutes in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. So they that, that gave them a chance, and they, they fought back. They just weren't able to close the deal. I and mean, you, you look at it, and uh, you said it yourself, uh, you know, Coach uh, – McGillery is going to be some. I think he's going to be a really good coach for this LaSalle Absolutely. team. It's, he's in his first year. Uh, you know, you know, he went to Temple, but the X's and O's, being able to go mid-game and 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 find ways to keep his team in when they, just when you thought they were out, he found ways to readjust their game and get things going. So uh, hats off to LaSalle because he, even though they're four and twenty-four, they didn't play like that tonight. They play like a team who's who's getting closer and will get closer here in the yeah. next few years. And despite you know their Despite their weak points, you know, they, they're no Deja King. Uh, they were able to, to find um, scores. Sweeney got hot in the third quarter, remember, hit a couple threes. And then Nichols started scoring in the fourth the fourth period there. Right. So, I mean, they, they had, they found a way. So, um, you know, look out. Uh, LaSalle down the road. They're a young team. You know, they play well together. They're, they're going to continue to play together. And they, they might make some noise in the A-10 in the well, future. We, we're going to see. This LaSalle team definitely has a, a bright future in our opinion. So we'll see here in the next few years. But the Richmond Spiders today get a huge win. They got UMass on Wednesday. A win there will put them in a really good spot. We'll help them climb a little bit higher in that A-10 ranking. And then on Saturday, they take on the defending A-10 a tournament champion George Washington uh, uh, Colonials here at the Robin Center. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Darrell Owens. Alongside Lamont Thomas here, Legacy Maker Sports Network. You can catch our next broadcast on Saturday as VCU takes on Davidson in a huge matchup okay. at yes, huge matchup at the Siegel Center. I'm Darrell Lawrence, Lamont Thomas.
Thomas, Legacy Maker Sports Network. Everybody, Darrell Owens, Legacy Maker Sports Network. Richmond Spiders get the W today. Nice win today, but with me today I have Claire Holt. Claire, you have been phenomenal uh, in the last two games. You come out in the last game, 18-point performance, uh, six threes. You were just two away from the record, um, uh, tying the record here for Richmond Spiders. But today you come out and you have a 12-point performance today, seven for nine from the free throw line, five rebounds, five assists. Can you tell us about your performance today? Um, I just know that I've been working hard and I've been in the gym a lot. My um, my coaches have been putting a specific emphasis on working on my passing with me and just on my own, I've been getting in the gym a lot to make sure, you know, when I get a chance, I can hit the shot for our team. Um, I feel like that's really the premise of how I got my confidence for myself. Like, I know I can hit free throws. I know I've already shot 100 today. So, like, <laughs> I, I, I was confident in myself, and my teammates really believe in me and really cheer for me, and they were so excited for me. And so – and my coach is believing me, so with all of that behind me, I mean, I felt really confident. Well, we were wild here in the uh, in the broadcast as we saw you make that beautiful pass to Heinz Clark oh, on the yeah. baseline. <laughs> just a just a gorgeous pass. So yeah, the passing is definitely working on that end. Now let's talk a little bit about LaSalle. LaSalle fought back in this game, but y'all were able to withstand the comeback. What did Coach Schaefer tell you to help you withstand the comeback? Um, he really was just emphasizing um, you need to, on defense, you need to take pride in guarding your girl. And you don't need to have to have help defense come and guard for you. You don't need to have, if you do your job and guard your girl, the game is made up of a bunch of little battles and you have to win your little battle on defense. That was one of the things he was emphasizing. And they had their players getting hot. They had their post players. Like, they had a lot of size. And um, we had to figure out different ways to try and combat that and with the foul trouble and everything. So, um he was really emphasizing when ha, guard your girl on defense and don't get beat. Take yeah, it personally. That's what he likes. Take it personally. Well, it looked like y'all took it personally with the 56-51 victory. I got two more one, two more questions for you. One, you got UMass coming up. You beat UMass early in the year, 62-58. This time you're going on the road. What are your thoughts about UMass? Um, well, at this point in the season, everybody is really hungry and every win really counts. So. You know, they um, we beat them before, but we beat LaSalle before, and obviously they came to give us a challenge. And so really we're just starting fresh for every single team. I, it doesn't matter if we beat them, didn't beat them, because all of these teams are playing as hard as we can. So um, especially with a, a road win, um, that would be really nice for us. And I think that after today we've been having some good practices, and if we can keep this up, I think we'll we have a really good shot at it. Well, the A-10 tournament is sneaking around the corner. I know the thought is in your mind. Uh, what does this Richmond Spider team have to do to get to Pittsburgh? I think what we have to do, our coaches always emphasize, you know, we played the game today, but we won the game through the practices that we've been having this week. we got to have good practices, and by that I just mean, you know, we're going hard. We know, our, we know their sets. We know our sets. Um, we know the right reads to make, and then we're getting in the gym and getting up shots so that we have confidence in ourselves. And I think that um, the one thing that was a little bit better than we usually are today is we um, had b good ball movement to get it going around. And once we found that was successful, we kind of stuck with that a little bit. And um, sometimes we struggle with, um, like, getting to play one-on-one -on -one instead of playing together. And we've started to play together lately. So if we can just keep that up, we'll be, we'll be in a good position. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Richmond Spiders coming here. They get the five-point victory at home, 56-51. They head to UMass on Wednesday, but then they got George Washington here next Saturday, 11 o'clock, early in the morning. They're trying to make y'all play way early in the morning, <laughs> but with an opportunity to get themselves set up here for the A-10 tournament. I'm Darrell Lawrence, Legacy Maker Sports Network, Claire Hall, Richmond Spiders. Claire, thank you. hope to see you in Pittsburgh. Thank Take you. Take care.